At least I don't remember it being anything really awesome. It's not like it's a really cool weapon or something. Just kill these guys. I don't even think I'll need to use my, uh... I might just use her flame toss as an individual move. But yeah, you'll see fire really does a number on these guys. Compared to regular attacks. Now, Fire Whirl is probably the most effective thing, but I'm not wasting more MP on Cyclone than I need to. I'm pretty sure it is possible to get through these things without inciting a battle. If you stand still, they will eventually part. See? See, now I'm stuck between the two until... Whatever. I tried. Could have been epic. Wait for her, and it's right. Uh, wait, move off. I'll move closer, closer to the guy. There we are. And he'll just kill whatever's left. See, look at that. Two hundred and twelve. I just annihilated. Him. I'm pretty sure there's. Right, these guys. I'm pretty sure the secret room dedicated to the Magus is right in here. Oof, all these fakes. Wait, really? What is the king doing in here? Like, obviously fake. I wasn't aware that this was a song playing in here. There's a speed belt that will be useful for some people. And a defender, which I'm pretty sure is a sword for Chrono. A uh, steel saber is. Chris Ward, defender, was. Okay, apparently it's just a defense boost. I got the speed belt to Luca because she's gonna need it, and I don't really need to see the health bars of people. It's not like it's killing you or anything. It's a nice gimmick, but it's not necessary. Let's put it that way. Megas is Groons. Right, if you talk to a uh, statue, they... That's right. I also there's more treasures in there, but... Apparently not. No, the easiest way to deal with this. Come on. Let's get rid of these three in the front. And have him attack one in the back. It's three down. And let's just get rid of these back ones. Yeah, this little spell gets really annoying. That's why I gave her the plus to the speed. Because there are some fairly noticeable speed differences between some characters. I mean, fairly noticeable. See, now we have better weapons for actually doing real damage. Reminds me, you you never need to buy weapons in this game. Like, you pretty much almost never need to buy weapons in this game, especially early on. It's a waste of money. And we finally have X Strike, which is not that bad of a move. I always thought there was more stuff in this room, but there never is. I'm pretty sure if you try to leave, they will transform into what they really are a bunch of snakes. And one dead snake. I'm pretty sure Flame Toss is a move that if they were standing in a straight line between me and Luca, I could get all of them. However, they are not, so we're gonna have to do this the long way. Oh, you got a double critical again. 
I swear, Frog and his critical hits, they happen like so often. And now we're all leveling up. We're all gonna be like terribly like over leveled soon. We started out incredibly under leveled, but we're gonna be over leveled in no time. How's your health doing? It's actually doing quite well. MP could use a little boost, but uh. Oh, it only restores 10. Might as well use it. Because I know Chrono is pretty much used in every technique that's like dual or triple, so. It's great, it's an unavoidable battle. I try to avoid it. That's what matters. I did not want to attack the one in the back, whatever. Like I said, I'm not going to be cheating my way through this one like I do in Final Fantasy. Because the battles do go a lot faster in this game. Thank god. I might play through Final Fantasy VI. I'm not sure if I want to, but I might eventually play through it. This game is going to be a good, like, 10-15 hour game. Well, if we play it, it will be a good 10-15 hour game. Probably closer to 20 hours, actually. If I do everything in this game, it's going to be like a 20-30 hour game. But if I just do everything, cut out the grinding, and just go kick ass on the boss, it'll probably be 10 hours. But I think it's probably going to be around 20 hours, knowing me. Oh, this is more, and they're unavoidable. Okay, quickly, quickly. Kill all of them. And they're all dead. Star World is the awesomest move ever. Look at this. Four tech points, kind of stuff. We even got more revives. Something that I will probably never use until much later in the game. And when I do use them, it'll probably be because I have the spell, not because of the item. I will take this opportunity to save the game though. I believe you can't do anything in the big main room until you go around the back. Which staircase is the one that slides you down? Is it this one? Yep. This is the one with the bat that we can avoid. Good. So I'm pretty sure the other one is the one with the guard. Takes care of the spikes. These things are sometimes hard to avoid. That, there's no one on the wall there, it just says how to open the secret door, basically play the organ. That's right, forgot what the bat should walk down lower. There it is. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass to find the exact spot to hit. Sometimes the targeting system doesn't work exactly as you want it to, but most of the time, it's alright. Bats aren't too strong. See? Dead. More tech points. And... Done with that fight. I believe this is the trap button. See? Yep. Trap. And that's why you want to go down the air staircase. If you fall down this staircase, then uh, wakes that guy up and starts a battle. I know some people would want me to grind through. I'm pretty sure it's an unavoidable battle in here. How's my health doing? It's alright. Actually, how's my level doing? Okay, we're all level 5 now. Hypno Wave, the most useless move she has, I'm pretty sure. It's like her only useless move, but it's gonna be completely useless later in the game. And I'm gonna get at least two of those henches if I'm very lucky they might all group together. I don't think they will group together though. Oh they will. Just enough for me to get all three of them. Here we are. Three down. More than likely the three most annoying ones. 
But yeah, I'm gonna be using a hell of a lot of MP in this place. Just on these things. Just to get rid of them. Like, I've still got like one more area before the boss, so. This is probably gonna be like two videos of me going through this. Possibly going into a fur if I get to the boss and it takes a while. Which I can't remember how long the boss takes, so. It could be a while. <coughs> Alright. And. Might as well use some of these tonics, because eventually I will just have like 60 of them if I don't use them. That's why I have them, so I might as well use them. I'm usually terrible for using potions, so. I know in Final Fantasy I've always been terrible at actually using my potions, I usually just ignore them. Which is actually pretty stupid, but... Whatever. I guess these guys... run very quickly. If you're quick enough... I wasn't quick enough, but if you're very quick, you can avoid them. Sometimes. Whatever. Get rid of the two annoyances. Let's see. Well, at least one of these things is gonna be dead soon. I should not have wasted that, but whatever. Use your flame toss. Might as well. 148 there. I'm dead. <coughs> Throat's starting to get a little bit dry already. I've only been recording for probably about an hour. And there's my save point. Save. Because I'm pretty sure the boss is maxed. These are shelter. We'll save again now. We healed. Right, full health, full mana, full everything. Let's prepare yourself. I'm pretty sure there's an extra room there. I'm not sure. Oh wait, no, there isn't. I always thought there was. 